Yeah. Are we running you now? Yes. Yeah, I'll yeah. get the wolf. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Right, my name's Wesley. I'm with from Beat the Bells and Banks Northwest. And we have Stephen Spy. And we have Kevin Marks. And we have Peter of England. <laughs> and we have me. And now, Eric on the video. And Eric on the video. Yes. Um, we were. British Gas were applying for a warrant against myself today. Um, we've gone in and unfortunately they've struck the warrant out. But they went ahead with a 21 warrant and it was like a rubber stamping expedition. We're on a booking um, which is uh, our, our region. Yeah. <laughs> it was a rubber cloud uh, expedition on it. It was bang, 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 bang. They pulled ours out and the reason why they've pulled ours out is because we have actually already paid for the gas and electric through the Bill of Exchange. I'm not going to go into detail because today we're only here to deflect the warrant. Um, so the warrant was struck out because we attended and we've actually got our bundle, one for myself, one for British Gas and one for the courts. Um, and what they do, they apply for a warrant in the Magistrates Court, which is criminal, and they go for a health and safety warrant but over a monetary dispute. Now for it to be a monetary dispute, and it, if, if the account is in dispute, British Gas should apply to counter court because it's over a monetary dispute. But what they're doing is they're applying for, in a criminal court for a warrant of entry through the Gas Act 1954 and to change Wes's meter to prepaid meters for gas and electric, which is unlawful. But what they'll do, they'll quote the 86 Gas Act and the 96, but for that to be enforced, they need the 54 Gas Act to get into your property, which is fraud and it's unlawful. Deception as well. Also, when we came into the court this morning, the, ga the gas agent, I think he knew who we were, to be honest, and he said the warrant's been struck out. So what we did was served the gas agent a notice, which basically says if he applies for any more warrants, now or in the foreseeable future, these can be in fraud, uh, under penalty of perjury, and also uh, from the Protection of Harassment Act 1997. He did actually agree to give us his name and we've signed it. Myself and Stephen signed it along with Wes. So he's got that now. So we've told him to take that back to British Gas's legal department. And basically they're on notice now, so that should now stop all future warrants. However, some of them say they can have a no notice warrant, which is wrong. It's called a emergency warrant, which is granted 24 hours. Um, but the key is, they've still got to smell gas to come in. So they deceive you there, so you don't know exactly when the warrant's going to be applied for. That's the trick there. But it's all down to fraud and letting them into your, into your property. But if they say it's a no-notice warrant, check the warrant when it was signed. And if it was signed five days ago, then it should ring alarm bells. Then they should have been in your property like today, not five days ago. So. Just look at that, guys, when you look at the warrants, and that's called a, they call it a no-notice, but there's no such thing, it's called an emergency warrant. So we've been into court, we've watched the warrant struck out, and we've also had written confirmation from the gas agent that the warrant has been struck out before through. So it's a waiting game now, and we just want British Gas to bring the claim to the table in the correct jurisdiction, which is county court, civil. And that's where we are now, yeah? Yeah, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping British Gas is watching, or is going to watch this video, because it's Wesley Hammond and the people versus the big energy giants. Gas and electric are free. Do you want to say anything? It's already been paid for. Uh, no, I just yeah, enjoyed coffee. the experience and it's been very nice just uh, watching this <laughs> excellent uh, research material. It's some of the, the best I've seen and I complimented Wesley on the fact that most people turn up with, with nothing or very uh, sort of uh, disheveled paperwork. It's all very well done. I've had a look through it. Um, going to be working with that through Free Movement and Free Man Legal Services. Yeah, well, out, out of the 20 old applications for warrants, nobody's turned up to object to these warrants. People need to get to the court and just object. Right? They withdraw them without you, do, without you having the bundles. We're, we're going out in full steam. Right? But get down if they apply for a warrant, get down and, and just object. That's right. It's like I say, never ignore, always explore. I'd like to thank Kevin Marks as well because it why we're doing this as well is because last year I think every seven minutes one person dies.
died through death related illness. This year, was 30, people. this year, the ratio has dropped from one person every three minutes have died this year in over the winter months. 50,000 50, people have died because they cannot afford to heat the homes or feed themselves. This country is gone to the corporations. We're picking on the most vulnerable elements of society. Correct. People need to fight back. Protect, protect our, the vulnerable people out there. The old age pensioners, like the disabled people, the older people being kicked off benefits, like by ATOS and like the, the, the suspension of benefits all up and down the country. Uh, it's a criminal enterprise by the, the elite, the 1%. The bankers that are running all these sham of uh, the electric and gas companies. Uh, it's, it's a crime that's going on. Everything's orchestrated. All the energy companies, it's rigged. Everything's orchestrated. It's already been paid for. Any utility bills will pay for it. Six big companies, they rig the prices. It's a monopoly. It's not a fair game. We need to bring those prices down to an acceptable level so everybody can afford them. And the one interesting point we asked, we asked why the Warren was struck out, and he said, well, probably because you've paid, paid for it. it. <laughs> well, we have. We've paid through the bills of exchange, but... You've got yeah. to get your head around the concept of a bill of exchange. But Research the bill of exchange. He said it was rubbish. He, he, he left, he just got out of the chair and, and walked. Just, just walked, basically. He didn't want to know anymore. Um, if I could just jump in here and say, uh, on the back of what's been said here, for everybody that is interested in this, bills of exchange, promissory notes, or financial negotiable instruments, which are all quoted in in the, uh, in the uh, literature and the articles of association of the, the companies even, uh, so that they can accept and deal with them. Uh, we are Bank is, uh, as of the 10th of April, going to have checkbooks available for everybody that is joined. Um, the checkbooks have uh, 50 checks in uh, per book, and those will be available, and those will allow you then to issue a promissory note or a check uh, which sometimes is a, an alternative to creating your own bill of exchange. So just bear in mind, stay posted, and I'm sure between uh, this group here and Get Out of Debt Free and uh, other sites, you'll see that we're rolling those out as of April the 10th, and the, the motto is really going to be from here on for all of you who are suffering this sort of uh, debt slavery and this Babylonian tyrannical mindset that's forced down your throat. Uh, don't fight it. Just pay it, and we'll show you how to pay it. <laughs> anyway, my name is Russell Abbott. Can we sit down? Yeah. Right. Love and light. Thanks for the bailiff. Yes. Love, Love and light. Bye-bye now. <laughs> <laughs> Love and light.